In this video, I'll discuss stacking cells in tables. Now, tables display fine if you've got a large screen like a, a desktop or laptop computer, and even a tablet's not too bad. But as you start shrinking down the viewport width, and here we go, uh, to something that's similar to, say, a smartphone, you're going to see something like this, and it's going to make it very hard to read. So we need to be able to do something to make this table responsive. And the best possible option is probably stacking cells. I'll go ahead and show you how that works. So we'll go to our code, and here's our media query for max width 767. So at 768 pixels, it's going to use start using these rules down here. We want this one, so anything less than 768. So I'll add a line here at the end of this styles, and we'll do this. Now all we're doing is creating a style that's going to affect um, all the table elements, all the table tags. So table, t head, t body, th, td, and tr are all going to be affected by this. And I just do this: display block. Uh, now I'm going to put in a background color here, just to. Make sure that this shows up the way we want it to. The background color is optional, but here's the point. Okay, by setting display block, we're going to change the way that the browser handles all those table tags when the browser screen width, the viewport width, becomes lower than 767 pixels. So I'll go ahead and save that and refresh our page. Now, as I resize the uh, screen, you can see that nothing's happening. But once we get below 768 pixels, then suddenly our table is now being treated differently because we've used display block to tell the, uh, the browser to display the table in this uh, stacked method or manner. So you can see now that the user who's using a, a screen that's typically taller than it is wide, um, that they now can actually see this table and scroll down and see the information. Now, it's still not perfect, of course. I mean, we have all our uh, headings up here, and it's hard to sort of parse those with the information below. But at least it's a, a really effective way of making your tables responsive by stacking them. And once again, that, uh, that method is just to choose all the table tags, put them in uh, in your proper media query location, and then choose display block.